Merry Christmas, home theater nerds. It's Christmas morning. Thought I'd be watching Wonder Woman right now. But HBO Max had different ideas and they delayed it in my area till 12. So I decided what's a better time to give you a tour of my theater. I've been, in, I've been getting requests on pictures of my theater and I've been getting requests to do YouTube videos. So here's my first shot at it. So bear with me. Uh, on this side here, this is the door to the theater. Everybody else is still asleep. It's Christmas morning, but I snuck down here. So this is the door to my theater. This over here, that's the door to my equipment rack. So uh, let's go check that out. All right, there she is. Uh, start up at the top here. Well, actually, let's get a full view of the entire thing. Uh, it's pretty tall. Uh, a little over six feet tall. I uh, built that myself a few years ago. Uh, up at the top here, we have the AC Infinity air cooler. Sucks the air out, blows it out the back. If you don't know what those are, definitely check out one of those. Google that. They sell them on Amazon. They're like 100 bucks, but definitely worth it. Uh, my Denon used to trip out when I would run it at reference level. I put that in, I've never had a problem. Run at reference level, thing stays cool. Uh, you see temperature gauges are up there, so you always know what you're at. Uh, below that, we have the Zipidi. More on that a little bit here. I'll give you a quick demonstration. Plus, of course, I've been teasing. I'm doing a whole entire podcast dedicated to it. Uh, below that's my Panasonic UB8. What is that, an 820? I always forget the numbers. 820, love that as well. And then below that, I have a couple of APC uh, battery backups. Uh, this one here runs my entire rack. Everything's connected to that. And you can see on there, it has, my theater's running right now. It has 10 minutes of time. If we lose power, I got 10 minutes. Uh, this one here runs my internet. I have 143 minutes to go before it, that thing would die out. Um, and then below that, we have, Quickly, we have the PS4 and uh, Xbox, and I haven't been able to uh, acquire a PS5 yet, so we're waiting. Uh, my old Rotel, I love it. It's just on display. I don't even use it. I don't even think it's plugged in. It's not even plugged in. And then below that, we have my old Sony. And this one here, I just can't get rid of. Uh, I mean, these buttons here, I used to... That's what I used to teach my kids when they were really little back in the 90s, how to use uh, AV receiver. So get a little choked up when I went to get rid of it. And I was like, forget it. I use it to run my outside speakers. So uh, from there, we'll step back here for a minute and take a look. So these are the two doors. Obviously, we have the Revenge of the Jedi poster, the original title to the Return of the Jedi. Uh, my door to the theater. It's usually open, but for anticipation effect i closed it on you guys uh and i have my uh dolby digital sign that i've had since probably 2001 and i'd like to get some more it's just it's one of those things on the list and there's my media rack and right there you can see the top row is empty because all of those have been put into the zapiti so far i have all my 4ks in there which is like 200 and something and now I'm going to go through all of these Blu-rays, put those in there. And then this rack will display just the 4Ks eventually. So, all right, let's take a step into the theater. Here we go. All right, this is it. Take a look around. Uh, let me see. You can brighten up the room a little bit here. There we go. So that's the theater. You take a quick look around. We'll get, I'll give a quick tour in a minute. That's the uh, Zipidi, one of the pages that I have on there. But we'll start over here. Uh, I have a nice little Superman that my son gave me sitting on a table that my daughter gave me. You can see closer. It's actually a um, movie reel, which is pretty close. And that also houses my charger for my Harmony remote. Over here, we have the candy and below... We have the popcorn maker. This is a popcorn maker. Let's see, pop it open. Bowl sits there. Popcorn pours out into the bowl. I've used it a few times. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. My daughter gave me that last Christmas. Uh, here, this is my 
the front of the room. I have speakers. There's a speaker back there. You probably can't make it out through the thing, but that's the idea. I, I like that clean look where you can't see anything. It just looks like you don't know where the sound is coming from. Uh, down here are my... These here are my masking, which I made myself for like under 50 bucks. It takes me two seconds. One of these days, I maybe now that I have a YouTube channel, I'll demonstrate how quickly they go up and stay in. Uh, this is my Stuart screen, Stuart film screen. Love that thing. Uh, let's see, move around the room. We have my Star Wars poster. One of the original posters I've had since... I built the theater. That's an original poster. The Crow's an original poster. Spider-Man's an original poster. He's been there since day one. Uh, room opened in January 2002. Started building in 2001, December 2001. Uh, and that Dark Knight poster was replaced. The, the Dark Knight my wife gave me, I replaced uh, Moulin Rouge was originally there. So there's my NHTs in the side. And you can see I kind of mounted them kind of in wall because they stick out a little further but I put them in a little bit give myself a little room because the room's fairly narrow uh, back here we have more speakers and this is six inches between here you can reach it see I can re I can't even touch the back wall right here that is all insulation uh, you see the insulation back there six inches of insulation and this is just basically speaker cloth stretched across and then I put the this is attached to the studs to build my shelving to hide it all and it has helped a lot it has it improves the base and also it improves the um the dialogue because it just makes such a difference in your room I really recommend that if you can if you can pull it off and you can see I got to do a little bit more trim work here because you know the room's always always in um in flux it's always developing uh up here we have some you know popcorn soda uh gift from my son or my daughter this is actually my son's he got that as a gift but he'll take that when he moves out my brother gave me this this is the one that i was talking about in uh the thanksgiving podcast when I, this one of the things that i've wanted since since the movie since the terminator 2 back in 92 uh, down here we have my Iron Man. My son gave me this. This is actually part of a project I'll talk about in a second. Uh, we have an Iron Man statue. We have a gauntlet. We have the Iron Gauntlet. And you can... There we go. And... The other gauntlet. The Infinity Gauntlet. And these I made myself. The little things they stick on. They stand on. Uh, you can see I made two of them. I made those. And this there is custom painted by me. I did all the custom work to give it a little bit more weathered look and more realistic, as opposed to that looks like a toy and that looks a little bit more realistic. You know, those, see, don't those look like real stones? And over here we have, this is actually a popcorn holder from Disney and I'm gonna weather that as well, give that a more realistic look. The Imperial Walker, a gift from my son, uh, Old Star Wars Laserdisc, the Laserdisc collection. If you know, as you see down there, uh, Bruce Willis and Die Hard. Obviously, the Nakatomi collection. Uh, up here we have obviously the saga, Star Wars Skywalker saga, uh, which is Force Awakens 3D, uh, Tie Fighter popcorn, some stormtroopers that go along with that, and back over here we're deck to another speaker, another pillow, comic, this is my Bright Side Comics podcast, a theater chair, like I said, they go nicely in the room, home theater, home theater pillow there as well, uh, this here is from, uh, that's from this little guy here, with, uh, I can't find, the, oh, here's this controller right here, you can make them, he sits on your shoulder, you can make him move and stuff, and talk his mouth opens up he actually he's battery operated he's pretty cool we got him at disney as well uh and that's the room pretty much let's see what else is there here oh let's see the room let's see the zapiti and we'll go over here let me close the door close the door hit that i'll give you a quick demonstration of the zapiti 
and we will let's turn out the lights all right we're back i had to turn the flash off and here's the here's the screen with the Zipidi. And what we'll see is we'll go over here and uh, I'll click over here and you can see this here. I zoom in on that. Check out that poster. So that poster is for the Marvel Studios. I made that poster and I made that icon. So you click on that and you can upload it to the Zipidi so you'll know. But this is Marvel Studio. I labeled it Marvel Studios Cinematic Universe. You click on that and pull back. Let me pull back. There we go. And there is the entire cinematic universe in 4K. And if I pause on a movie for a second, you'll get to hear the sound. But there they all are. All the way. All 23 movies ending with Spider-Man Far From Home. But we'll pause in the middle because I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The last one. Avengers. So... I'll give you a quick upload time. Hear the music, hit play. Or hit upload. Uh, I'm sorry, hit enter. And then we get, you can see the entire thing. You had a 185 to 1 ratio. Dolby Atmos at the bottom gives you the little logos and everything. And then you click on it from there. And this is how long it takes it to play. It's not very long at all. You can hear the It's already playing. And there it goes. No menus. No, not, I have it set that it just starts the movie. And then that's it. I'm going to stop it there so I don't get in trouble with YouTube. Uh, bring up the lights. And that's it. And then you can back out just as quickly. And we're back out. And that's it. And then I can scroll through and access any other movie. And I, like I said, I'll have quality and sound issue, picture quality and sound quality later in that when I do that one. So that's a quick tour of my theater. Let me know what you think. You can tweet at me at BrightsideHT or you can email me BrightsideHomeTheater at gmail.com uh, or check out everything at the website. You can go to my website, brightsidehometheater.com, and uh, you can find all the links there as well. This link will be there, but if you're watching this, uh, let me know what you think, because I want to do more of these. I've been looking into this. Uh, this isn't my forte yet, but I'm learning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Have a great holiday. Have a great Christmas. And uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to sit down here and wait for the uh, rest of the family to wake up. But while I'm waiting, I'm going to push play. Merry Christmas.